It's wonderful to have the invitation to be able to read and share some of my work with you. Uh, and today, oh, I'm Jeannie Adwani, by the way. And uh, I, I found out, what was it, last week that it's about relationships. Well, isn't everything about relationship? <laughs> Love and relationships. So the work that I'm gonna share with you today I get to do it twice, so yippee me. Uh, it's about love and relationship. So I, um, I actually, I, I sort of like to do things sort of in a transmission sort of way, so I'm not very editorial in my work. So this was something that I wrote the last few days. And here it is. The ship called relation is docked in your heart. Travel the sea of your life force. It will take the secret fjords of your veins. It will ride the churning tides of your emotions. It will float in the gentle pulse of your breath. It rushes to the sharp slice of breakup and death. It pushes to and pulls hard away from the siren's deceptions held in the stony crush of harsh realities. And when the sea of you finds a place for calm, you set a course for love's sunny beach. Your relationship takes on many passengers. Some travel the rapids with you. Some sit pretty in the mermaid's tease and the dolphins play. Some reflect all your goodness. Some show you the way of heartache. Some come to hold you in the sacredness of your being. Some wish to take your ship and walk you up that plank. So many you have let ride in and on the vessel of you, all leading you to find yourself in the tricky betrayals of turbulence and the ways that the heart yearns for each other in the deep dives. Each traveler gifts you with how to navigate the depths of your being, to give story to your sacred tra travels to find yourself and find yourself you will in the allowances of tenderness and love. It is not how you will navigate the ravages of heart's stormy embrace. It's not, it is how you embrace the stormy heart. You are your own ship. You are the captain. You have time and time again chosen those that walk your deck, sleep in your cabin, deep dive off your bow, steal the dinghy of your heart, and take it out to open sea. You have weathered debilitating winds, destructive storms, waves of joy and heartache that have crashed you, crashed you to the knees of your best self and given rise to your sacred self. You worked hard to heal that hole in your hull. It took on more storm than was possible to endure. Your ship was sure to sink and you were drowning. And then, in the magics of all the great mysteries, the sun flooded your senses and the thin skin of healing soaked up all that light, all that nurturing goodness, and was secured in the radiance and gave way to the warm wind sails. You have tra traversed the oceans, the lakes, the streams, the pools, the puddles and tears of yourself. The waterways of relationship is how you find yourself. I wrote this one a, a while ago. <laughs> Simmer your love. Let the brew of togetherness gently boil down into forever. Whatever ever, forever means. Stir the pot of questions. Let them rise to the surface, surface for the giving of your answers. Whatever your answers are. Walk the path of honesty. Without it, there's no trust between the spaces of questions, whatever those questions are. Dance in the hands of kindness. Give of it as if it will be the last act of giving you will ever do, whatever it is that you do. If you wander away from love and your heart aches for salvation, remember, whatever forever means, whatever your answers might be, Whatever those questions are, whatever it is that you do, love will never leave you. Thank you.